but why don't I play higher? Um, 200 and L snap does not run any higher. And this is the best game of all time. It's so juicy. Like I make so much money in this game. It's delicious. And to play 400 and L on this site. So since I can't play snap, I have to, I have to table select these other games, right? I'll show you. And I've tried, like I've done it on stream. I've mixed these games in, but table selection is such a slow process, right? Um, like this is what I do. So, okay, say I want to play 400 and L. Well, what I do is I pull up this table and I could pull up three more and then I wait, right? Um, so yeah, we can sit here and wait, but in a way it's kind of distracting, right? Um, if I'm looking at this, if someone sits down, you got to sit down really fast to get good seats. That's just how the table selection process works. So bottom line, I'm going to keep playing 200 for a while. I've even like toyed with the idea of skipping 400 because the 200 game is so good. The other option is that I go over to 400 <clears throat> on full tilt. Um, the rush game there, so they have a fast fold game that does run, is pretty juicy, but way better than the 500 zoom game, which is ridiculously tough. Um, but I've been taking some money out of my roll. Um, I took a chunk out, I'm gonna take another chunk out, paying some bills and whatnot. So um, yeah, I, as once these bills are paid off and the roll gets bigger again, then uh, maybe I'll entertain that even further. But for now, I'm just, you know, I'm happy. Cruising along, making lots of dough. Things are good. When he checks twice, maybe we bet the turn for because of those small pairs, but I don't know. This guy raises. This is clearly a bet uh, call with any top pair. Let's see who he is. Let's look him up in case we're going to have to call for, down further. I think we can... At this point, we can call with, um, you know, our better queens. Uh, 27, 14. So after just a few hands, I really have no idea about this guy. He started with less than a full sack, right? Um, the four makes it less likely. I mean, he could be raising and I, I block some of the flush draws, you know, one of them, or two, not that many. He's commit. He's made a committing bet. What do we do here. It's brand new. Um, started with less than a full stack. What do we do here? I. I think I'm gonna get it in. It's just such a big bet on the turn. That was a last second raise, but I, I just kind of think he's full of shit. There's a quick, large bet. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, really, really raising the flop with king queen. Wow, owned, owned. Well, we had the next hand down. We had the next hand down. Yeah, the thing is there, we can talk about that. So, um, Do not battle out with regs at higher stakes. Um, I answered that question, didn't I? Um, what's the, I don't understand the difference in your question. So now are you wondering if I just pick regs and play them? No, I don't go out of my way to play regs. That would be a bad idea. I pick fish at higher stakes. Just like your name says, bum hunter. I'm more into playing fish than regs. I make way more money versus fish than regs. So no, I, I don't battle it out with regs at higher stakes. Absolutely not. Fish, and there may be some regs at the table, but I don't pick fights with, with regs. 
That's a bad idea. I, I may not be understanding what you're getting at, so I apologize if I'm misunderstanding your question. But let's let's go over this hand because I think it's interesting. Ah. And feel free to clarify what you mean, bum hunter, and I'm happy to answer a different question. Okay, okay let's go over this one because this one was interesting. So preflop. I mean, we can almost rule out, because he called preflop, right? So he starts short, his name's kind of fishy. I've, I've got 22 hands on him, I, I don't know anything about him. I'm gonna go ahead and make him a fish. Um, so he... He just called preflop. So we can kind of... It's unlikely, less likely, that he has ace-queen, right? Because a lot of people, he could have it, but a lot of people are going to 3-bet ace-queen. And king-queen, I mean, he has king-queen, yeah, but it's just unusual for someone to raise the flop with king-queen, right? That's just unusual. So his range is like uh, flush draws, 7-6, he's a fish. 7-6, 8-6, ace-2, ace-3, flush draws, I said that. Maybe ace-5, ace-4, 5-4, those are all possible. Pocket fives, pocket fours. The four comes, and this is a great card for me, right? Because now it's re far less likely he has pocket fours or 5-4, right? So, and then he makes a pretty fast big bet. So, I don't know. I just, <laughs> did you see that how last second my raise was? I was literally down to one second when I raised, just to get it in, which I think I sure is the right play because he's an unknown, probably a fish. Thanks for that follow. Um, yeah, I, I just think we're, we're ahead here. And it's unfortunate that for me that he ended up playing a hand in a really strange way, but. Uh, I want to make sure, I'm sure I did, that I got the note on him. No, I didn't. I know what I wanted to do. So let's, not only that, but let's get some notes on said fish, right? Do we still have the hand available? Um, nope, it's disappeared. You said you have to table select, implying that you won't sit at just any table. Correct. Um, so the way to maximize your hourly rate, which is what you should be trying to do, well, there's a couple couple parts to the, my response, is you wanna play in the fishiest games you can. And so this is what everybody does, right? Just like your name implies, you bum hunt. Um, you wait for a fish to sit down. If I just pick a seat and I sit down, to, well, for one, these guys all know me, they're not gonna play me. As soon as I sit here, watch. As soon as I sit down, watch what happens. This guy sits out. Right? And he's a bad reg. I'd be happy to play this guy. Um, and we can 3-bet this guy. Maybe he'll play me. I doubt it, though. Let's see. And also the heads-up is going to be really... The other thing is, heads-up is really... takes up a lot of mental capacity, right? So now... Um, now I'm, like, totally distracted. Playing heads-up along with three tables of snap is, like, next to impossible. Um, so... This guy is playing me, but this is like, this is a suicide for me to sit and try to play heads up at the same time. So bad idea, bad idea. And I'm surprised he's playing me. Um, because I will start to make mistakes. This is too much. So I could, the, another option is that I sit and play heads up with him. Um, now here's the other problem to this, te te this technique. Now look, the fish are sitting to my left. So that sucks. Like if I sit down and then I just have to hope that the fish sits to my right, right? If I do it this way, um, then uh, let's see, we can bet this. Let's check this back. Yeah, see now I've got way too much going on. Heads up requires way too much attention. Um, we could have raised over there. 
Um, but this way, I just, now I've got one shot on the right, and he's not even exact immediately to my right. See, I should have bet this. I'm totally screwing up. Um, okay. So the, the other problem is, um, I can't get position on the fish, right? Um, whereas, let me show you this, if instead, I just pull up the table, wow, that guy owned me. Oh, it's because I didn't bet the flop. See, bad idea to play heads up and three tables of fast fold play at the same time. I could just play heads up with him, but then I'm like playing one reg instead of like a sea of fish. Also a bad idea, right? Um, or third option, um, best option of set options so far is that I keep playing on the super fishy tables um, and then I just wait. And when a fish sits down, I sit down just to his left and I get the God seat, right? But even that is distracting, right? Cause I have to look over here, look over here, look over here. It's just a real pain in the ass. So it's not my, the most here, there we go. Okay, boom, got us. Ah, but see, like now I'm timing out on this one. Um, it's not the most profitable use of my time. Maybe other other people could, uh, with better attention spans, could manage this more, but I can't. It's the bottom line. So, yeah, that's why I don't just sit down and play with regs. Um, yeah. Like, like your name says, it's it's more about bum hunting, right? It's all about bum hunting. That's what maximizes your hourly rate. At some point, um, it will be, at some point it'll like, I'll pass the tipping point and it will like, when I've got, when I rolled for 600, it's gonna be worth my time to play in as many 600 games as I can. And at that point, you know, I have to change my approach. I can, I'll probably have to spread across more sites to find more action, right? But for now, I just, these games are so juicy. I make so much money in these. Um... Ah, okay. Well, there's nothing wrong with bum hunting, um, especially if you're a heads up player. Like any heads up pro knows that's that's how you do it, you bum hunt. I mean, we're really, we're all bum hunters, right? If you're sitting there playing regs all the time, like, bad idea. Like, your best win rate's gonna be like one, two, three big blinds per hundred. You're never gonna get the monster win rates. You know what I mean? Bad idea. So bum hunting is where it's at.